know about that guy, uh, John Marco Allegro? He's the guy who deciphered the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, okay. All right, let's see it. He was an ordained minister. He worked on the, the panel for 14 years, but he was the only one on the Dead Sea Scroll translation that was agnostic, and he wrote a serious, seriously controversial book. It was his conclusion, after 14 years, that the entire Christian religion was a gigantic misunderstanding, and what it really was about was psychedelic mushroom experiences and fertility ritual. So Allegro's argument is that Christianity originated in a psychedelic mushroom and sex cult that wanted to hide what it was doing from the Romans and so decided to encode a collection of ideas and practices in the names and important concepts that we find in the New Testament. And so the New Testament was just the framework for the encoding of all of this in order to hide it from the Romans and then they forgot that they were supposed to be a psychedelic mushroom and sex cult and decided to just turn into Christianity. The book got bought out by the Catholic Church and then recently reinstated so I've never seen anyone produce any data whatsoever to support the notion that the Catholic Church tried to buy out Allegro's book or had anything at all to do with trying to impede its publication or its availability. However, it is well known that the publisher apologized for publishing the book and it was out of print for a long time because of how widespread and how heavy the criticism of the claims made by Allegro in the book were. He was trying to say that what was really going on was these people were trying to hide what these psychedelic rituals are from the Romans and from the people that captured them. So they hid them in stories and parables, and then there was all sorts of problems in the translations. And the idea was that yeah. God would make everything grow. When the rain would come, mushrooms would appear almost instantaneously. They would eat those. They would trip their fucking balls off. So they had decided that this was Jesus. As God's son. Yes. Right? God created this from his own seed. Well, this is what Marco Allegro's, his research was pointing to. So Allegro's claims build on the foundation of this assertion that Hebrew and Greek descend from Sumerian, which is phenomenally problematic to begin with. But the argument is that we can understand what was encoded by looking for the Sumerian root words of names like Jesus and Christ and concepts like salvation and anointing and things like that. Now, one of the biggest problems with this, apart from the fact that it builds on an entirely false foundation, is that most of the etymological roots that Allegro identifies don't actually exist in Sumerian. He's reconstructing hypothetical roots. Um, so every time in his book where you see this Sumerian transliteration with a little asterisk next to it, that means this is not attested in any Sumerian text. Allegro is just saying, oh, there must have been this word in Sumerian. Um, and so this is just based on pure assertion. And it entirely ignores the long and well-established etymologies for names like Jesus and like Christ and concepts like salvation to just nakedly assert no it's actually Sumerian and I'm making up the Sumerian word that sits at the root of this so this is just wildly irresponsible scholarship and he also identifies this uh, fresco uh, of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden from a, a medieval chapel in France as uh, depicting the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden as an Amanita muscaria mushroom, a fly agaric mushroom, a psychedelic mushroom. And it's not, it's very clearly just a stylized tree and, and one of the clearest indications of that is that uh, the canopy of the tree has three different main branches going up into it and mushroom caps do not have multiple stalks coming out from uh, the main trunk of the mushroom into the cap. That's just not how mushrooms grow. It's very clearly a medieval stylized tree. And here's what that fresco looks like, by the way. Uh, but Allegro argues that no, no, they preserved this knowledge of the encoding of this psychedelic mushroom and sex cults ideologies and practices uh, and it bubbles to the surface in this iconography in this chapel in France. And so 
the book is pure and utter nonsense. It's wildly irresponsible scholarship from beginning to end, and nobody who is a specialist in anything remotely related to the New Testament or early Christianity ever took it seriously. In fact, Allegro's friends begged him not to publish it because of how bad it was.